does this for video content. Sitting down at the end of the driveway with this little dude. Little, like, banty of some sort. Anyways, found him on the corner of the property and we found quite a few dead chickens down at the end of our property that aren't ours. So I'm gonna go talk to the three closest neighbors. Two of them, all three of them have chickens, I think. Two for sure. Um, one of them, I don't even know if I'm gonna ask him because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want him back, but I think I'm gonna go anyways, just in case. <sighs> so, mm -hmm. wish me luck because I don't want a tiny ass chicken. So, uh, got a double no. Yeah, so we're gonna go have a conversation, see if, uh, See if he belongs here or not, and if he doesn't belong here, I'm gonna bring him back to the neighbors and they'll take care of him. I don't know what else to do with him. So, found his home. Apparently the neighbor can have him. So I am taking him back to the first neighbor that said they would take him. And if they want him, they want him. So he's pretty, his name is Colonel. Colonel Sanders. He's really beautiful. He's a gorgeous chicken. Yeah, I'll show ya. He's a pretty little cochin. He's a pretty guy. Colonel Sanders found a new home. They're very excited. He said he's beautiful. It's a really chill chicken. We just don't need a tiny rooster. We don't need another rooster to begin with. today is hauling some more dirt. I had two yards of rocks delivered a while back. It's been a couple weeks since I've had time to work on it. So I'm really throwing down the next two days and I'm going to get it done. I'm probably going to be exhausted by the time I get to go camping on Saturday. Um, so that's not ideal. But this project needs to get done. I have maybe like three more truckloads of dirt to haul. So that's what I'm focusing on today, hauling dirt and moving rocks. I should be able to finish it between today and tomorrow. And then I have some projects I want to finish up tomorrow before I go camping. So yeah, that's where we're at. One of the perks of the city that I live in is we have a city garage that has free gravel, free wood chips, and at $25 truckload, compost, and mulch. It operates on the honor system. So it's super, super convenient when you can kind of go and get those materials at any time you want, including 5.18 a.m. My goal for this garden bed is to add a lot of something something to the front of my house. My house in its current state is um, pretty ugly. It needs new siding and new windows which it's not gonna get that for a couple more years. So I'm trying to just add a good amount of pizzazz to the front with a one and a half foot raised bed with a rock retaining wall and a succulent and small hosta garden in front. The reality that I'll actually get this done and the dirt hauled in six is pretty nil. I'm already about dying. So, hopefully I'll be done by like noon. I'm probably gonna really slow down on hauling the dirt and moving the rocks. I feel achy, sticky. <sighs> it's hot, it's humid, and it's only going to continue to get worse. So, I'm gonna get this little dirt, and hopefully I'm, I'm gonna put weed barrier, strip this weed barrier, and then plant in um, some really nice, like shorter hostas and seed them in the front here and do more like a sun garden. So to kind of bump it out so I don't have to mow around the trees or anything. I'd say mission accomplished. Let's go home. Now that we got that landscape fabric, let's get putting down the rest of the rocks. This weekend 
in two days, I quite literally moved between 17 and 20,000 pounds of rock and dirt. So I feel like I made a considerable feat and I'm super, super excited that all of that actually got done. A considerable amount of thought and planning went into this project. Um, because the tree next to this garden is a black walnut, I have to contend with jugulone, which if you don't know, it is toxic to most plants. So I had to, in order to find the right colors for the project, I also had to find the right plants. And to make all that mesh well together was kind of a little bit of a feat. And I think that was the hardest part of this project. This is, oh, I almost tripped over my lovely pile of crap that needs to go to the um, city. But this is what she's looking like. Um, about as soon as I finished this project, we got, like, literal flood rains. Since I forgot to take pictures before the project, I'm just going to insert a couple of older ones. The first two are from the summer of 2018 when I bought my property and... The last one is from 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you'd like more content like what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.